All right, this is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test 2, question number 34. If you're thinking this is practice test 1, like that orange book that you got, it's not. This is the one on the website, so hopefully you're in the right place. Question says, the table below shows the cost in dollars for different maximum package weights in pounds charged by a parcel service. Which equation represents the relationship between cost and maximum weight? Now, the way they probably think you're going to do this is to do a linear regression, and we'll do that in a second, but it's a multiple choice question, so why wouldn't you use that to your advantage? The idea is my left set of data, this would be my independent var variables, or in this case it's my W, and it should work out to where I get my dependent variable, or my C. All the answer choices give you a relationship between C and W, so we're just going to see if we can plug in the first set of values and get the second set. Now. I'm going to say this a bunch of times, or at least once, so I'm going to get it out of the way. Make sure you try at least a couple of the answers before you just circle the answer and go on to do it. If you just plug in the first set of data on one of them, it looks like it's the right answer, but it's really not. So if two or three of them work, I would say three is your best bet. You're good to go. Otherwise, I mean, it only takes a second, so it's not that much work. So the first one says if I multiply W by one-fifth, I should get the answer in the C column. But if I do five, or one-fifth, times 5, which would be the number I'm plugging in here, I'm going to get 1. It's supposed to be 38, so I know that A is not the right answer. Same thing with uh, the second one. If I plug in 5 times the first number is 5, well that's 25. It's supposed to be 38, so I know B is not the right answer. For C, if I plug in 5, It's looking pretty good, because 1 fifth times 5 is 1. We already discussed that a second ago. Plus 37, that does give me my 38, so I'm right on the road to getting there. Unfortunately, it falls apart when I plug in uh, 20. So if I do 1 fifth times 20 plus 37, well, 1 fifth times 20 is 4. So when I add 4 to 37, I'm going to get uh, 41. And that's not anywhere near 113, so C doesn't work either. But if I do D, it does work. So I'll do 5 times 5, which gives you 25, plus 13, which, of course, gives you 38. In the next set, I would do 5 times 20, plus 13. And 5 times 20 is, of course, 100. Add 13 to it, you get 113. And then you do 5 times 35, and you add 13 to that, and you get 188. So all of them kind of work. I just check them off. So I can say with reasonable amount of confidence that my answer is D. So all I'm doing is plugging in the values in the first set, getting the values in the second set, making sure three of them work, and then I'm happy and satisfied. Now, if you are a calculator junkie or you just love doing linear regressions or whatever reason, we're, I'm going to show you how to do that one really quickly. So I'm going to go into the list. I'm going to edit lists. I'm just going to push punch all my independent variables, or my X's or W's in this case, in L1, and I'm going to do all my L2's. Um, L2 is going to have my C values or my dependent variables, blah, blah, blah. So I need to quit out so I can work with them. Otherwise, you're going to be trapped in the list forever. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to do a linear regression, which is number four. Hit enter. Then I need to tell it, uh, then I need to hit enter again, and it should pop up the information. What it's telling me is that y equals ax plus b, which you've probably seen as y equals mx plus b, or the slope intercept form. So when I have y equals ax plus b, it tells me that the a I need to punch in is 5. So it's y equals 5x, and then my b value is 13, so plus 13. And that's exactly what d says, although it says to use w and c, but you can make that connection, obviously. And that's it. So not a huge, difficult problem to do. There's a couple ways to do it. You pick the one that you like and just go with that. So good luck.